This is Pow Wow Yo Yippee Yo Yippee Yay, the DAO talk number two. As you can notice, guys, we have bringed up the game. It's been some time that you guys were uh, advising to get into more serious HD. Hopefully, this suits you. At the same time, you can really see that I have big eye bags. Uh, that shows, but I guess, well, hopefully, good, a better fix like that. So, hopefully, it suits better, like you guys asked for. I want to thank you all for the, all the comments, the likes, and the shares that you had. Uh, it's really, really thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's really cool to see it. On this note, as you guys noticed, a lot of cool pictures. I would love for next week if you guys could send all different pictures of you or videos uh, that you think that represents Swissborg or yourself with Swissborg shirts or just crazy pictures of you like that. We could maybe start, you know, uh, creating like uh, like a cool, uh, you know, board where we have all these different uh, Dio tribe showing pictures and we could do like a maybe cool thing as an intro. Without further ado, let's dig into it. So this next 10, 15 minutes is we're gonna talk about essentially the news of the crypto markets. Right now we're gonna talk about some great players, where the market's heading, more importantly, where is Swissborg standing? And we'll talk about obviously about the beta we all are hoping to have and to test very soon. So last week, Justin, Justin got crazy drunk and he talked about Tron as a shit coin. Well, what happened the week after? This is the meme. You must like me as I will soon buy every dApp on the blockchain ecosystem. Uh, was that referred to? Obviously, steam it. Um, Tron is getting a lot of attention. I'm Justin as well, not only because he's dining with a very, very billionaire such as Warren Buffett, but more importantly, because a lot of dApps are being built on Tron's uh, network. So I think so that's that's a great thing. You know, he's pushing the blockchain ecosystem. Steam it for me was was I didn't see that coming. That for sure I didn't see that coming. I mean, why would Steam it go to Tron? Take in consideration that Dan Lemeyer is the founder of Steam, the protocol behind Steam it, and he has created EOS. So why did Steam it instead of going to migrate to EOS went to Tron? Um, and especially Tron, and it's more like an Asian focused type of dApps where, where you know, EOS has like an international community or Ethereum as well. So I don't know, that's a, that's a very interesting one, but you guys know what Steam it is the Reddit of uh, blockchain, is one of the best social media platforms uh, for uh, decentralized autonomous organization. Um, the principle of uh, Steam it is quite, uh, is quite, you know, makes a lot of sense is everyone gets rewarded if you put great content. How do you put great content? Is if the community itself upvotes uh, your posts, such as, as like Reddit, but there you actually really earn some uh, stable coins, uh, Steam powers. So don't know what happened. Well, it's a juicy deal though, it's interesting. So that means Steamit, but DTube and all the other ones that are connected to Steamit will actually move to Tron's protocol. Uh, so let's see how things goes. What about the news of the week? Chili's, have you guys heard about those guys? If you haven't, you should. Really interesting project. These guys are made out of uh, Malta. We've met uh, the founding team, really cool people. Essentially, what is their proposal? They want to democratize um, football clubs, essentially. Well, or in football clubs, sorry. What they want to do is they want to bring closer the fans, the fan club to the club itself. And, and I think so, it's a really good thing. So essentially by owning Chili's, you could participate in decision-making of different football teams, such as Juventus, uh, Barcelona, uh, Paris, PSG, and, and a lot of different big, big clubs around the world. And these are not like strategic questions that people ask during the referendums, but it's still like, like meaningful ones, like what's their music theme, what will be the next jersey look like, and, and they just signed a massive new things, Chili's, so hats off to them. Uh, essentially what they did is um, they're going to do the ICO for Barcelona, and we know that Barcelona is the only football club that's actually owned by their community, so having a token economy around that is going to be quite big. I think so they want to raise, you know, 70 or 80 million, something like that. Uh, so let's follow that closely, and what is great about Chili's is that it's even in they want to go a further step is that they don't want to just stick to football. They want to go to every big market in the world. So they'll soon be in the States with NBA, 
basketball, NFL with football American, and as well MLB with baseball. So it's really interesting. Uh, these guys are smart. They have great tech. Uh, they're super well backed. They're backed by Binance, Huobi, and a lot of the lead different investors. They did a private sale some, I think so two years ago, raised like 70, 80 million dollars. Uh, they're backed by Socios and, uh, and as well, uh, they're connected, the same founder is connected to one of the biggest gambling uh, uh, actually industry. So these guys are really big. We talked to them, uh, we'll see how things go with Swissport with them, but we really think that this is an awesome project and big news of the week. Other week, Binance is making a lot of noise uh, and they wanna collect more money. They wanna get into the B2B, they wanna go on the cloud, they wanna make sure that they are able to create a white label solution within five days. Well, that is good, and that is a lot of money. But please, guys, before focusing on new business, make sure that your tech is right. I mean, no disrespect, but this flash crash can't happen. It just can't happen. This is how institutional people, you saw like two, three flash class in, in the last 30 years in the financial markets. If we have a flash crash every year on one of these big exchanges, how are we gonna get institutional money? So. Hopefully that will not happen again. Obviously, Bitcoin and other cryptos have suffered a lot during this bull run, which sucks a bit. But hey, it's normal. There are startup, every, you know, startups happens that sometimes we scale very quickly, and not everything works. That's why at Swissborg we always say "Chi va piano, chi va piano va sano va lontano." Okay, all the Italians know that. Michel, I'm sure you understood that. Um, quote of the week. Try to guess who this is coming from. I believe that banking institutions are more dangerous to our liberties than standing armies. Already they have raised up a money aristocracy that has set the government at defiance. If the issuing power of the money should be taken away from the banks and restored to the people to whom it properly belongs. That's a very powerful statement. Does someone know who it is? Jefferson, 200 years ago. That resonates so strongly to Swiss Board's mission and vision. It's great to see already 200 years ago that people realize that if you give the power to the very few, unfortunately, that will create an elite. That elite will make sure that they are on top of people. And unfortunately, they will control the keys of everyone and, mass and you will have always that master-slave relationship. The beauty of that is I think so at Swissborg, all you guys listening, you know what's our mission. You know what's our vision. You understand that democratizing and creating new financial, uh, it's, it's the minimum. We have to make sure that it's not only accessible, but it's fair. There's no these hidden, you know, hidden fees and, 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 you know, only special funds to special people. We have to make sure as well that, you know, not only that it's transparent, that it's meaningful, that what you're invested is stamped by the the brain that you're making profit that you like the products you touch with your hands but at the deep bottom of your heart you are aligned to that investment and that's why it's important and on top of it well you know you have to make sure it's fun so please remember making it accessible to everyone making sure it's fair making sure it's meaningful and making sure that we're having fun out of it and hats off again to uh yeah third president of the states 200 years ago who understood that Fortunately, our history talks for itself. We did not follow his path, but us at Swissboard, we're here to change it. Markets. Uh, the markets, short term. Uh, we see a resistance, uh, you know, at between 9,000 to, to 10,000. That is, you know, it's playing around, it's playing around. And the big support is at 8,500 and 8,000. Um, if we get to a territory that we break that 8,000, we're going for an ugly one. However, if we break that, you know, 10,500, 11,000 resistance, then we're probably going for a massive run to at least 13,500 or so. So I think so. Th that is something we need to play on the short term. It's hard to see, you know, based on the news and based on coronavirus based on that flash crash and based on multiple information, it's hard to see where the market is going because it's, it's going, it's mean reverting essentially. And that's why it'd be really bad on the community out recently. But on the long run again, it's, it, it looks like it's really confidence. You know, if we break that resistance again, 10,500, we're going for a massive, nice, nice bull run. So um, 
Marco and the investment community were all very uh, positive on the market, especially on Bitcoin. But one that we've been positive as well for some time, which is really doing well, it's Ether. Ether has been doing extremely well uh, for the last uh, period. We're really happy about this. It's super good how things are, are reacting. Um, it has outperformed Bitcoin for some time, which is really cool. Um, now the massive resistance is $370 against the dollar and it's 0 0.041 on, 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 uh, on Bitcoin. And um, if it breaks it, we're going for like this massive crazy other rally again. So confident on both cryptos and obviously even more confident on CHSB. Uh, there's been more and more volume different people that are that, that are bringing into the market this is great it's very very organic the move obviously that we had a retracement from you know three cents to 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 two cents but it's a healthy one you, we can go up 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 we need eventually to have some head and shoulders patterns that have that really bring in a healthy sustainable um quite confident that the cgsb is still very underpriced and undervalued uh and we have great you know uh we have a uh, great great things to still uh discuss about and and great news to announce very soon so super excited about it now let's talk about the project of the week richard branson sir richard branson said that power ledger was one of these awesome projects and it was a winning of one of his challenge Power, which is 120 in the coin market cap, what's the purpose? Well, to manage the energy excess from solar panels stored in batteries. Most consumers with the solar panels, you know, store the energy of, of what they made, they create it and sell it back to a company that sells it back, but it's not very efficient. There's a loss of energy through it. And more importantly, there's a lot of cash uh, because uh, it's done through a second, uh, by intermediary the idea for them is to do it directly so you stack powers and then you could sell the sell am same amount of powers that you actually stake which is really cool so in some way like if you have a thousand dollars of excess of energy that comes from your solar panels per, per month well you then buy a thousand dollars of tokens and then you sell that as a counterparty into their market and then it's distributed within different homes awesome great use of blockchain Great use as well for you know green energy as well. I really believe this is one of the few that actually could could potentially uh, you know sound like a great project. Hopefully they get the funding and and they're they're able to essentially develop this this project is out of Australia. We believe there's a lot of Australian great projects. So hats off to these guys and looking forward to see how uh, this is going to happen in, in in the near future. Deal swag of the week. As a kid, when I started investing, you know, when I was 16, 17 in the in stock market, uh, I used to look at a few websites. There was Financial, Yahoo Financial, and there was Investing.com. Uh, well, a, a member of our DEO is awesome enough to actually list CHSB token on this. What does that mean? Well, first, it's really cool because for me, it's like a childhood dream. Second, uh, the fact that, you know, even now big guys could go on, you know, look at different stocks and if they want to go in crypto, they could see pair of CHSB versus US dollar. And I think so it's really cool. It really shows that, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're part of the big league guys. We are, so be proud of it. And, and that's a cool way to be proud of it. So hats off to them. Uh, Stan will be here next week. Obviously guys, we need you to fill up the missions and, and, and we're very proud about uh, the, the, the DEO report, crypto report of the year it was really well done. Uh, next week, we'll have more projects to talk and Stan will have uh, a few announcements as well himself. Community app. We're no more at 40,000. Yeah, baby. We're at over 85,000 players, which is amazing. That means the reward today is $85,000. Uh, the winner, winning person is earning over $5,000 in Bitcoin. So that's half of Bitcoin. And obviously, there's all the CHSB tokens to be earning. So this is great. I mean, this is an amazing way how to learn, to earn, to grow our community. 70% of those 85,000 have CHSB tokens and do play the community app on a weekly basis, which is awesome, which that makes us one of the biggest DEO today. This is crazy. Say it again. One of the biggest DEO today. Um, 
This is just great. This was exactly what we needed, a really cool game that will evolve and have more and more community aspects to it. A great way to grow and to train, to be smarter investors and really appreciate how the cyber predictor is conducting analysis, how the general trends are happening and make sure that you know what's risk management. And, uh, and the greatest of all is that our community is not only wiser, it's much bigger today. So that will be awesome for the CHSB and, and obviously for the wealth app going forward. So super proud about that. Big fireworks to the entire team and to you guys. And if you haven't reached uh, the last badge to collect your last badge and be a Hall of Famer, please do. If you, it's referrals, just, I don't know, do something on Twitter, just do something cool. Stop everyone in the streets and talk about it. Go at in the bus, in the train. That works very well for me. In the train, you have so long times, like just ask them, do you believe in Bitcoin? They're like, no. Then you ask another question, like, so do you believe that the master-slave relationship says no? Well, do you believe that giving the chance of everyone to have his own bank within his own wallet is, is something good? Yes. Then you explain that what's Bitcoin. And then you talk about the philosophy, how Bitcoin has changed the world, has it supported great causes like WikiLeaks. And then you talk about, okay, if you want free Bitcoins, you know what you want to do? Download the app, take that referral, take those 3,000 points, and there you go, mommy. <laughs> um, team, the family, super excited. Kelly, Klein, she'll be in the Alex team, she'll be corporate development. Awesome to have her, super smart girl, former private banker, VC, into crypto for a long time, based out of Tel Aviv. She's just gonna open so many doors from the institutional point. I'm really glad that she's, she's, she's among the family. Uh, she'll be based out of Tel Aviv, but she'll be very often in London. So please guys, give your love to her and uh, welcome her proudly. With that, we have the community tribe success teams, all the people that will doing the support in the, in the chat and will really try to build the best way to make sure that all your issues get solved. Warm welcome to Alexander, to Alex. Yeah, now we have three Alexanders. See which one is the great. Uh, Lydia, um, Anna, and as well as Stan. Really great to have all the five of them. Super excited. Uh, I'm sure you will talk to them. Uh, hopefully not too often, because that means that you won't understand what's happening there. But time to time when you need their inputs, They'll be very welcome to, to you know to help you out, and it's great to to have two extra girls as well uh, with us this part. Talking about lovely girls, uh, Ciara, one of the chief of staff of Hyobi, uh, great interview that was on Crypto Night recently. Uh, she, she did a really good job. Uh, she a former person that worked at BCG, now she's been working at Hyobi for some time. She really understands the you know, how the ecosystem works and. She really, uh, you know, believes how, you know, this new industry is, is, is coming great. And Crypto9 on the road was great. Alex, you know, Liam and, and Phil are doing a great job uh, interviewing a lot of great people. There's going to there's gonna be a lot of different other new guys to come. And uh, if you haven't watched the video, check it out. Events. Crypto Compare is going to happen on March 10th. That's super cool. It's gonna be Alex and I standing, uh, blockchain brothers, on the on the on the on during the crypto compare. We're gonna have, we're talking about centralized finance and and decentralized. So de de decentralized and, and centralized. The best of the both world was obviously Swissport. Uh, that's gonna be a cool one. I hope it will be recorded. If not, please come check it out uh, there. We'll have as well a blockchain on chain, uh, 12th of March. Please join us, and I think so, the 11th, I'm doing uh, something at the Wealth Innovation Summit as well. Uh, that's like more a banker thing, and they wanna learn about who are the be the next big guys, uh, probably us. Um, Beta, you've been some begging, asking, some frustrated. We're live. Uh, the beta phase is live. People are able to essentially on board. They're able to deposit fiat, deposit crypto, change, uh, exchange, withdraw, recover. Uh, we're very, very happy uh, that this is happening quite smoothly. 
uh, if there's any issues there you just need to shape your mobile and then you know, do your inputs uh, for those who are not on the beta don't worry guys you you'll soon be on the main wealth app that's cool um, we have to understand that the beta is is a testing mode so there's gonna be a lot of errors there and I hope that you guys will get great inputs and you're enjoying it very much to conclude maybe let's talk about quickly about the smart engine and how fucking cool it is um, you know guys you saw the videos this, this is the Nasdaq 2.0 we the market is defragmented. We need to have one meta exchange that is consolidating all these different order books and making sure we have great, a great, you know, a great investment experience through liquidity, infinite pairs, and 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 essentially transparency. And that's what the smart engine is about: transparency before all. And how do we bring transparency? So. The idea going forward is to make sure that within this app, maybe it's not gonna happen now, but it'll happen hopefully soon, is that if you wanna buy, like for example, if you wanna change one Bitcoin versus ETH, right? You wanna know what happens. And our, our amazing smart engine that's led by the entire tech team and Marco and all those beautiful brains, it's like a arbitrage hedge fund for free for you guys. You know, it's a way that, for example, for this trade, you did half of the Bitcoin you traded on hit BTC by buying XTC. Then, then the XTC that you traded, you sent it through Coinbase, and it traded against ETH, and you got twenty six point seven ETH, right? That same trade happened that we did again on hit BTC with zero point five BTC, half of it. And we bought, you know, Ripple XRP, and that Ripple, then we sold it and got some ETH with it. In that case, you get you know 53 ETH.38. Multiple different other exchanges, you won't get that. You probably get maybe 50, 49, who knows? But you would never get that, and that's how beauty it is. It's really cross-training, trying to feed on different exchanges. What are the best pairs you could go to actually go to the to to your own goal? When some people think you have to go from A to B. Sometimes it's better to go from A to A dot to A2 to A3 to A5 and then to B. And that is exactly what it is. It's it, what we promised for the Cryptalian. Now you're getting it for free through the Wealth app uh, for the arbitrage strategy. So I think so that's really, really great. And I really hope that you guys like this thing. Um, what you guys have to understand as well is that um, um, we're almost live for the Wealth app. You know, we still have some time, obviously. And it's not going to be easy to finish uh, it uh, right in this these these few amount of days, but we're we're really working on our best to 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 make sure you guys have a five star investment experience, and, and that is is for us the most important. You really want to make sure that you know we onboard you in the right way, you bring in the marketplace the right way. We make sure that if you have any questions, it's done. And I know it takes time, but that's what happens when you really want to to be not a startup but you really want to be a great institution and 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 that's why we're taking our time but we are not spending it on uh, not working hard we're really doing our best um guys i hope this video was 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 what you expected uh we'll have this every week so much love from my bottom of my heart guys love you very much wish you all a great weekend and let's uh yeah Love you guys. Bye.